Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Bullseye Trading. My name is Nick Santiago. Today is November 9, 2020. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. I'm going to show you a trade that we just closed out in Bullseye Trading for a 9.61% gain. And this was a swing trade. So it wasn't an options trade. I know that's a big winner. Uh, but what you're going to see here is uh, this was the Russell 2000, the IWM. It's just basically the Russell 2000, which represents small cap companies in the United States that are publicly traded. And we were getting a very, very nice setup uh, right here. Russell was really consolidating nicely. You see that big surge right there. And um, I jumped in it on a call option side. Now, I gave myself a nice lenient stop loss. Market did sell off as we got closer to the election. And then you'll see once the election concluded, uh, the Russell really started to rip higher today. Uh, we have the Russell all the way up. Uh, trading as high as $178 at the open. In the pre-market, it was even higher than that. Um, so just a great, great move for the Russell 2000 today. I closed out this trade, which I entered on the 15th of October, and I got in this trade at 160.75. I closed it out today at 176.20 for a 9.61% gain. But I want to show you really what this trade was based off of. A lot of traders will say, well, if you got in on the 15th and then it went against you, you know, what was the reasoning? You don't want to always use these daily charts. You want to look at some bigger time frames. And I'm going to move over to the weekly chart. And what you're going to see here in the weekly chart was you had a lot of choppiness, uh, obviously, since the rally in March. And here you could see that we had a big, big sell-off. The market recovered. Then we got above that big red bar over here pulled back again, rallied, got above the pivot high at 160 here, pulled back, and then we bounced again. But one thing the market did was it made higher lows on the weekly chart, and that's something I watch for. Something else that I watch for is the fact that the Russell 2000 held all of these major moving averages. This is the 20-week, this is the 200 and the 100 week. The red line is the 50 week. We stayed above all of those key levels, filled the gap, no harm done, never broke the moving averages. This is what we call a convergence of moving averages. And you could see that the market held that and boom, we powered through today. And you could see even last week was a big reversal. We call that a, a sunset flip. When you take out the prior week sell-off bar and you close above it, that's what we call a sunset flip, one of my favorite patterns in the business. And then boom, you got that big, big surge right up here. And um, I winded up taking it off the table. I still think the Russell's going higher. I think we need a pullback first, and I will look to enter it again. So again, if you have not joined me in Bullseye Trading, come on over, check it out. It's really been a great year. It's really all about the newsletter and the direction of the market and the astro sciences work that I do. And um, again, all of the members seem to really, really love it. So again, if you haven't tried it out, come check it out, see what it's all about. We're having a dynamite year in Bullseye Trading.